welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so we're doing a really exciting video today and i've actually wanted to do this like since day one of vlogmas and um, it's trying the mcdonald's festive menu we've literally just been but we've added more we've, we've added some not festive things like the chicken nuggets and stuff but we've picked up what have we got here what's this one that's this stack which is cheddar cheese and red onion chutney and then we've got the crispy chicken which is cranberry sauce and ooh, and sage and onion mayo fire sage onion yeah, yeah. Like like nice. oh my god stop it and then we've obviously got the cheese melt which we've had plenty of time so it's fine but we know we're gonna like them but we thought we'd spice it up a little bit and i decided that i've asked some people on instagram what they assume about me and I'm not going to answer it. I'm going to get Em to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> just because I think it's going to be juicy. Like, obviously, I don't know. We'll just go into the questions and see. But first of all, I feel like we need to try. Okay. We definitely need to try. Oh, do I cut them? Oh, one is the crispy chicken. I don't want to drop it. Maybe drop Oh, my it God. Like and sorry, but that is the best. Have you ever seen a burger look like that before? McDonald's burgers do not look like right, that. They love their game. They really up the game. Of the festive stack cheddar cheese and red onion oh my god this one as well they really up their game these look like actual burgers that you probably get in a restaurant i don't know if you can see that a load of on the floor oh wow that's a pickle oh i did or you did no i did oh did you even see that that is which one's this i don't know Shotgun? one of them oh, no, the, stack. No. the stack is this the stack yeah that's the one that i want to try cool oh there is anyway this oh my god i can't do you know what? It's actually dangerous, this. I'm so excited. Oh, oh, I think it's nice. I love cranberry. That's fire. Do you know what this reminds me of? You know the next day after Christmas? And like... Toilet sandwich. Yeah. You've got every bit thrown into a sandwich, doesn't it? Do you know what? That's how doing bits. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very, um, cranberry. And a lot of fun. Like, chicken isn't for that, the burger. Yeah, I get you. Shall we, like, throw an assumption in? Have a spending addiction. I actually don't. You've got a spending addiction. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you do. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, no, you actually do. Um, no, you go through phases. We had this conversation before, haven't we? Yeah. But once Chloe starts the full roll of the spending, she can't fucking stop. <laughs> and then literally, she's like, oh, let me just get another bit. No, that is so true. I either save really hard, or it's, why not? Yeah, but one thing I definitely believe in is if you act like you've got more money than you have, then what manifests? It definitely does because I feel like when I spend a big amount of money and I think, oh, I'm going to stress about it. Well, I don't stress about it. I'm just like, yeah, it is what it is. Somehow that money just reappears. I know it sounds really weird, but it does. Like something comes in like, or I get money. It's weird, but it happens. I'm trying to get the one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Manifestation, man. Mm hmm. That is true. Oh, that really scares me. What? The bait minute. Well, it's holding out now. Oh, it's beef. Mmm. Mmm. Not as good as a chicken, but I'm a bit of a chicken fan more. And there's two in here. They've got two beef. Mm, that's a shout. That's a good shout. You're happy about you're happy about the breakup. Um, <laughs> this is real now. I can see why I think that because you know you got that like you're okay. Yeah. We have to yeah. But to be fair. If you ask like, you know, like your TikTok people, that would be things a bit different. Yeah, that's true. It's a different platform, isn't it? But I think as well, I don't know what I was gonna say. Just gonna say some of them. I just feel like I'm dealing with it okay, but I just have my moments where I'm a bit like it, it reality hits, and I'm like, 
Oh my god. Like, what, what the hell? I feel like I just go through spurts. Like, it's just a high. I go through highs and I go through lows, and I feel like that's just a bad thing in life, isn't it? I don't know how I'm gonna wake up the next morning I'm feeling. Like, I could wake up tomorrow and not miss that person, but then. I could wake up on Friday or mainly Sundays. <laughs> mainly Sundays or days. Always. Oh my god. They're awful. Um, so I just make myself dead busy on Sundays now. But yeah, I just feel like it's just a bit of a roller coaster, isn't it? Mm. And it will be once you start to learn to be by yourself. Ugh. I actually feel like who's, who am I going to be with next? Do you ever think that? Mm. We always have this conversation, don't we? Like, I can't even explain it. Like, if you go. Oh, I don't know, I can't explain it, it's hard to put it into words, but it's just weird to imagine you with someone else. I fully think you've met the person that you've loved, like you're gonna end up with. This is what I mean, but oh, I don't know who that is. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Right, Cabin Bear Bites. Are they Cabin Bear Bites on Yeah, you? honestly, oh. it's literally my home ever. Wow. Wow. Every Christmas, I wait out for these bad boys. What do they have during? They have like. The mozzarella sticks, little, oh, yeah. little cheese bites. Oh, the spicy ones. Mm. Yeah. But these ones are the Christmas ones and literally oh, I'm so happy. We love a camembert night, don't we? We need to have that again. But we always end up food cremers. You're actually going to tag me on Facebook with like a big loaf of bread. Oh my god, no. You were tagging me in that and Joe made me that once. Oh, Christ. I was like, oh my god, so it. nice. No, no, he actually did. He travelled all the way from home. With right. it, okay. okay. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it, but no, it was actually really cute. So he did it all at home and like sliced it all and like put like garlic and cheese into each one mm. and then travelled up and surprised me with it. That's quite cute. Eh? You're different off camera. I feel like everyone's different off camera. I fully don't think no one is 100% themselves in real life and they are on camera. No, you've got this like, you're playing to it. Yeah, like, oh, I can't explain it. There's so many things that I've watched clips of me back and then I do a video and I'm like, hi, and then I'm like, oh, fuck's sake, do, do that again. Like, and you, your tone just changed, but like, of course, it's like asking an actor if they're different on camera or like, not an actor. But I don't think you're massively different, though. No. You made it. No. It was still have my personality, but still, you're just more, I think you're just more enthusiastic on camera. Hmm. We've got our entertain. Mm. That's why. I get the boring Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she watches my fits and's like, are you doing this? That Oliver? Uh. <laughs> That's not who Oliver. <laughs> the thing is, if, <laughs> you bring out the camera. Remember when I first moved in with you? And you were like, oh, I'm just doing a time lapse. And I literally walk out, look at the antique dog with a dressing gown, hair like this. But like, she's out. really had to adapt to me. Like, everyone, everyone just thinks, right, okay, like, the camera's coming out. Or if, um, if we go out, someone's just said, yeah, I'm waiting for it. You want a picture? And I'm like, fuck off, man. Yeah, I do. <laughs> like, you have to expect it now. You're going to walk in and my camera's going to be set up. But it really caught me off guard at first. I like telling everyone, like, yeah, just whipped out a fucking camera and I don't know when it's coming and I'm here and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, like dog shit. Look <laughs> through what part. But you adapt, you adapt. I can tell Em's adapt because every time she goes out now, she's like, can we go outside and have a picture? And I'm like, yeah, of course you can, girl. Of course we can. <laughs> Even Joseph that to do was like, oh, she's oh, got you on it now, has <laughs> she? That's funny. <laughs> Only because that light is bit. But this light, yeah. I don't get this. I don't know what this means, but you'll probably know what it means. You're very, com you're very confident, but an introvert most of the time. I don't know what an introvert means. I think it means like you need your like your own time. Like you're not constantly like go go go. I mean, you can be in a sense, but you also need your downtime. Oh my god, I love my own company. Yeah, like you're very independent and like have you always do shit by yourself. Mm. I love my own company, like, I prefer to go shopping on my own, like, not, no, not necessarily actually, but, like, on Friday I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to go shopping, but I don't plan to go with anyone, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, I'd look forward to go, I'd definitely sit in, like, coffee shops on my own, I'd probably even go and have lunch on my own, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It needs to be normalised, to be fair. I do like that. 
So yeah, I enjoy going shopping by myself. I wouldn't take myself out for a meal, I don't think. Like sit in a I'd sit in a coffee shop maybe. But I'd have to know that I can just sit there in my corner and not have like do you know what I mean? I don't like walk into somewhere and not being guaranteed a seat. Yeah, I get what you mean. But def I feel like I'd go to Nando's on my Oh no, I wouldn't. I don't know why. Really? Mm mm. I don't like food shopping by myself either, it's boring. Oh no, I don't like food shopping because I don't know what I'm getting. And oh my god, going food shopping on your own Aldi. No thank you. I get so anxious when you're going through that. So I'm doing like 20 laps around Aldi because I'm just like, my head's everywhere. Yeah, and you don't know what you're picking up and then you no. get back and you forgot half of the things because you've got no one there to be like, yeah, we need this. Like we work together, don't we want to go food shopping? Yeah. Mmm, hungry. Can I have to say offer after? Mmm, we need to go. I've got that in the next But I feel like introvert. Is that like should I Google it? Hey Siri. Can you social anxiety? Like, what does introvert mean? Like social anxiety. Wait, you say oh, that? a person predominant. I don't know. Predominantly concerned with their own thoughts. So is that, is that anxious? More like anxious though, like socially aware. Do you think maybe I give off the impression that I'm, does it mean that like I'm always like, oh Chloe's fine? Like, in that way, but then like obviously, I don't know. I feel like I am a bit like that. I feel like I do, I don't really share, I don't actually, I do, I share my fucking business with everyone here. My way, my way. No more. I tell TikTok everything and then it gets me out of my system. And then don't have to tell anyone else really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I've already, I've already like released it or I talked to the camera and then I feel like I don't bother with anyone else with it. Like if someone phones me and they're like, you're okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, like, I'm actually okay. But I feel like if I hadn't have done my TikTok or I hadn't spoke to the camera, I probably would have been, no, I'm not okay. Like, I think it's when they watch out like when they catch you in the day, like in the morning. Oh, I'm bad in the morning. I'd probably be like, because I work full time, I don't really see Chloe in the morning. But if I, like when I was out and you were feeling like shit, you'd just like come into my room and you'd just be like, feel like shit. Yeah. And then get it out to me. Mornings are hard at the minute. Then I walk half out. I think you better help with it being like that all the time. Normally, I'm criminal. Normally, I'm that girl who's like out for a run at six. So I, I am that girl. <laughs> I am that girl, but now nah, I'm not. You were that girl, hold on. Right, the one. You'll be in no rush to find a relationship anytime soon, so soon after the breakup. It's all breakup. I am going for a breakup, so. <laughs> if you don't know, get to know. <laughs> I don't know. What was that? You'll be in no rush to rush into another relationship. I think you're in a rush. Um. You just have that sense of, you just like having that companionship, don't you? No. Like, I might take the time. You might learn to love a single dad. You've been in a long relationship. Yeah, true. Right. Right, do you love the single life when I'm out? Yeah, like everyone loves a single life when they're out, especially the ones in a fucking relationship. <laughs> that is so, oh my God, don't, because that's so true. A little bit more than me. I'm not single. It's not even funny. <laughs> it is funny. It makes a night out so Men much funner. Are all the same. That's my theory. Oh my god, yeah. You men out there. Yeah. Are are you any of you, all of you. Yeah. <laughs> are any of you loyal? Like, oh, oh, like seriously. It depends what you class as loyal. I think. Oh my god, my camera's gonna die. You want to be an influencer slash YouTuber. Look. Obviously. <laughs> oh, obviously. It would be the dream. Um, you're dating people at the minute. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Mm -mm. I mean, we want to find. Just speaking. Find the double date. <laughs> We're just yeah. two best mates. Uh, any offers? Come forward. Both hook up. No, I'm not dating. I'm not. I've not been on one date. Just chatting, like literally, just fr it's just literally friendly conversation, isn't it, with people? Mm. I don't, I don't class it as chatting. I literally just class it. Like, like nothing's gonna come out of it, and you know that. Mm. 
Exactly because it would just be way too soon anyway. Boredom. I, I want to be single for like a year at least. I'm going travel. I'm going traveling, so there's no time for boys. Like, there's no time for boys, is there? Can't be doing that shit. I mean, I literally don't have time for boys. And you gotta go try and oh my God, pie. We've got the festive pie! No, quick, go get it before the camera dies. This is me. This is my life. My camera's never got storage and my camera always dies, but we're just here living our best life. Please don't die. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, Why? It's boiling. Right. It's not the festive menu, but the festive pie, but we didn't get a McFlurry either because we just thought, no, it's too much on our stomachs. Oh my God, I feel like it's going to die. It's not going to die, manifest. We've got manifest now. It's not going to it's take die. Oh, canal. Remember what they said about it being hot? What do you think about that? Oh, I think that's wow Christmassy. Right. I rate the custard. Not don't, like that. don't rate the mince meat. You're not liking it, hon. With the custard pen. Mmm. Really? Maybe I just scoop the mince meat out. Yeah. Are you not proud of me for doing vlogmas? <coughs> yeah. I've uploaded every single day. That's madness. I treat it like an assignment. I understood the assignment. Uh, I understood the assignment. <laughs> right, we're gonna wrap this video up now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon for Vlogmas day eight. No, this is day eight, day nine. But yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.